Hey guys, Irene here and today I'm doing a fun video and I wanted to show you guys where I buy props for my photo shoots and how to get a really good deal on them because you know when you're a photographer you're already spending so much money on your equipment so I don't really want to spend even more money on the props but I do really love buying props myself because I feel like it puts more personal touch into my photo shoots I love doing everything myself I bring the costumes, I bring the accessories, sometimes I do the model's hair and her makeup. I love to make little crowns and all sorts of DIYs. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys uh, the things that I bought over the years and just share with you some of the knowledge that I have of, of like where to find good deals and good photography props that you can use in your photo shoot. So let's just get started. <laughs> so my favorite, favorite place to go and find some photography props is a thrift store. And any kind of thrift store will work, but my favorites are probably like Value Village. Uh, it's really near to where I live, like there is one store like literally 10 minutes away from my house. I can even walk there and I go there like all the time. Absolutely love Value Village and I'll show you guys some of the things that I bought. So here's this thing, um, I think it's like a birdcage. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it yet for. Uh, it was like a dollar or something. I just saw it and I wanted it. And maybe I'm gonna do some kind of composite with it with like a girl trapped inside or a girl like walking around with this or like putting flowers inside, burning it. I don't know, there's so many possibilities. So that's why I love Ali Village. You'll find like things that you won't expect to find in like another place and it's so cheap. And then, you know, even if you ruin it and like burn it, <laughs> yeah, it's fine because it costs only like one dollar. So, great find. I love this thing. Another thing that I love in Value Village is flowers. And you won't find them like all the time, but seasonally they will have some flowers. Like for Christmas, they had tons of flowers. And they're extremely cheap and they're really, really nice. So here's some flowers that I got at Value Village. I love them because they do look very nicely made. Like there are fabric flowers, they're not like paper or anything. And this one was $3.99 for this bouquet. And like seriously, this will cost you, if you go to like Ikea, HomeSense, whatever, where you wanna find like fake flowers, this will cost like $20, like I'm not even kidding. And it was only $4. And then I have these roses. What I loved about this is that it had little tiny, teeny roses and it had like bigger roses. And it is beautiful for if you're making like a head crown, it is really nice to like mix some big, and smaller pieces and I love the colors of this and this was five dollars I also recently got this at Value Village and I think this is supposed to be like I don't know you put something in here like inside like maybe a candle or something I'm not sure but I really really love this it was four dollars as well and I just love the little flowers I love the little vines um, you can definitely use this just like like let me try to put it on I think you can use it something like this to like create a huge like hat piece and maybe add some more stuff or <sighs> you could totally take it apart and just use it for the flowers and the vines which is really easy to do like they're kind of falling apart <laughs> on their own but I love this piece and yeah great find at the Valley Valley I also love looking for baskets in Value Village and this one I will be using in the summertime or in springtime and I have an idea of like you know putting some flowers in the basket like that and then maybe the girl walking around with the basket like collecting the flowers and stuff like that so it's just really like girly and cute and extremely cheap this was three dollars at Value Village uh, another thing that I love to shop at Value Village are dresses Dresses are so, so important to me because most of the things that I shoot are pretty girls dressed in pretty dresses <laughs> and it is kind of hard to find the dresses that I love which are vintage, very kind of inspired, I don't know, like super pretty and delicate 
So the places that I usually go to are thrift stores and they're really really cheap at thrift stores because like think about it, who's gonna buy them? Like are you gonna wear this lacy dress on day to day basis? Probably not so they're priced really really cheap and you can find some amazing ones. So let me just show you a few that I have here. So this one is one of my favorite dresses ever. I'll insert some pictures of like the pictures that I've done with it. It's huge, it's long, it has like this crazy train and you can flip it, you can do whatever you want with it. It has this beautiful lace and like sheer and oh, it was just so gorgeous. I love this dress and I think it was around $20, like maybe 21 or something like that. I've used it a ton. I've used it a ton. Yeah, I'll insert some pictures. Uh, the next dress is this one. This is my very recent purchase. I haven't photographed this yet, but I love this. It has these super poofy shoulders and you can put it like down here like this and it's all lace and it's very kind of girly and pretty. You can tie a bow and it has these like ruffles and everything. I absolutely love this dress. This one was only $10. Like $10? Come on. This dress, when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's big, which, another thing, if you find some dresses that are big and you think like, oh, it's not going to fit my model, it's totally fine because in photography you can make everything work, right? So, like, this dress was really big, so all I did, and here's a pin, so I pinned it at the back to cinch it in and it fit her just great. And by the way, the model that was wearing this dress was just so, so tiny, so skinny. So yeah, I'll insert some pictures of her wearing this dress. And this, uh, again, can go off the shoulder like that or it can go like over the shoulder. And I think this was like $15. Love this dress. Um, so here's another one. It's pink. Uh, I love, 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 love this color. So princessy and so just pastel and cute. Okay, I got it. It's a little bit. What is happening? I think this goes back like that. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Again, okay, I got a huge stain on it because the model was laying. Uh, in the pile of leaves pretty much and she got some of the leaves on the dress but it's totally fine because this dress cost me like $15 and you know I can always just wash it I just haven't yet but I love this dress it's so flowy and so beautiful I love it so yeah and they always they always have they always have this section in like any value village where they have um, like wedding dresses and like special occasion dresses that's where you can like find them most of the time uh, but yeah seasonal times or like Halloween Halloween is my favorite time to go to Valley of Belgium because they bring up all the weird stuff all the crazy stuff all the like um, dresses that people normally wouldn't buy but for Halloween maybe you know they're looking for some costumes so they have tons of cool costumes and this I bought during Halloween time and I absolutely love it. Another section that I love to go in Valley Village is like a lingerie section, sleepwear section, and I love to find some nightgowns. This nightgown is my favorite. I've used it a few times, and again, I'll insert some pictures. And so many people were asking me where I got this dress when I posted some pictures on Instagram and Facebook and I got it at Valley Village. So yeah, check out the, like, the nightgown section. They also have lots of cool corsets and this is just super duper pretty. Like, how pretty is this? And the color is amazing. Um, and this is another thing that I found in like a nightgown section and it's just kind of like a very pretty... Um, I don't know, like a strap, strapless, <laughs> spaghetti strap um, top and it has some beading over here. So, so beautiful. I think this was like $2, like literally so, so cheap, but so, so pretty. I love this. So yeah, nightgown section in Value Village and wedding dress section Value Village. Flowers, literally go through anything because 
you know not only you will find these amazing pieces but those pieces will inspire you I get inspired by these dresses like all the time whenever I go shopping to Valley Village I find something I get so so excited to shoot it and to use it that I just like I can I need I need to use it right now <laughs> so do it if you feel uninspired or you need some new props and let me know how it went okay Another place that I love to shop is online and there's few places that I do it um, but my favorite is AliExpress and AliExpress is kind of like an eBay but I like it better than eBay I think it has more vendors, more shops, they're cheaper and everything that I've ordered so far came in as long as you check on the reviews and you make sure that some people that bought it before left good reviews on it then get it and I'll try to insert all the links of the things that I'm gonna show you guys that I bought so you can buy it as well if you would like to so the first thing that I'm gonna show you are these flowers first of all I was looking for peonies I hope I'm pronouncing it right sorry I'm foreign and English is not my first language but I absolutely love these flowers they're so well made they look like real flowers and I think this was seven dollars or eight dollars around that and it was free shipping it came fairly quick just you know when you order something with Aliexpress most of these things come from Asian countries and it takes a while for them to get but they're so cheap and they're free shipping I think it's totally worth the wait so yeah if you like these I'll leave the link below so you can purchase them as well and I'll be using them probably for like you know some kind of headpiece, head crown, they're just so beautiful or you know a girl can be just like holding them you guys know I love flowers, flowers are always good these are some of the new pieces that I got from Aliexpress and I've already used the red crown oh I love these, okay I like I wanted a nice crown that looks real for so long and I was looking for some and I couldn't find any in the stores so one time I was just like browsing through Aliexpress and I typed in crown and these came in and holy I love these. This one was I think around $10. Again free ship. Everything is free shipping that I ordered from Aliexpress. And this one was like $5 and I love this one better. Like they're so beautiful. Look at these crowns. Oh. And the quality is really really good. Like they're made out of metal. Like they're not plastic. They're really heavy and really beautiful. Next thing that I found at Aliexpress were some veils and they have so much for weddings and little wedding crafty things and accessories and a bunch of other stuff and I found this red veil now I don't really like this veil, it's actually made really bad so this is just one of the things that will happen to you when you order stuff from Aliexpress is that with some things you score like with this and then with some things you don't like with this but then it only cost me five dollars so it's totally fine if it didn't work out because it's only five dollars right but I still did use this in a photo shoot I actually used it together with this crown uh, just recently so the girl was wearing a crown and she was wearing a veil on so I still used it so I think still got kind of what I wanted now this veil actually turned out so nice okay it's huge it's super long like uh, look how long it is like it doesn't end and it has a little clip also over here so you can clip it to your hair and have this like awesome veil and like how cool is it gonna be for pictures like uh, again these pieces just inspire me so much and like they just make me wanna shoot this and this is huge it's so long can you imagine this picture with like a girl just walking and there's this huge trail behind her I love this thing and this one I think it was around ten dollars still a great great deal <laughs> other things that I buy from Aliexpress is little supplies for my arts and crafts um, projects that I do um, so like for example I got this little pack of crystals and this was only like two or three dollars and you get like 500 pieces or something like that I mean that's a lot of crystals even in dollar store you won't get as many for that price so I love that 
and then I also got some feathers and there's so many arts and craft supplies on AliExpress for extremely extremely cheap like beading and crystals and pearls and feathers and all these things and I want all of them but yeah these are just some feathers and they're beautiful and this was <coughs> they stink oh my god okay don't sniff the feathers <laughs> and these were I think like four dollars I don't remember all the prices but again I will try to put everything in the description bar below all the links if you guys want to check it out or if you want to order it and also AliExpress has lots and lots of clothing I used to buy some clothing from AliExpress for myself before but there is a lot that are really really bad quality and I wouldn't wear them in like everyday life but for photo shoots I think they're perfect so like let's say I'll show you guys one of the examples this I bought from AliExpress and it's a little like I don't know what it's called like a cardigan type of thing that it's kind of see-through with some lace it's so gorgeous and I think it was like around ten dollars something like that again like free shipping I think it's a gorgeous piece for photo shoots or like you know if somebody likes to wear this on every day this is actually really cute AliExpress is also really really good for finding jewelry I actually bought a lot of jewelry for myself to wear and I bought a lot to, uh, to use for photo shoots so there's this one so gorgeous it's really really beautiful it has like lace and some detailing it's very vintage I've used this already in the photo shoot looks like that and what I love about necklaces is that you also can use them at has pieces so you could totally use it like that just pin it in the back so it holds up to your head looks awesome and this one was so cheap I think it was like three dollars extremely cheap I have this beautiful necklace with like some birds flying <laughs> it's really pretty as well like it's very fairy tale ish I love it I haven't used it yet but I might soon and there's like this kind of boho looking one I've used this as a hat piece before in the photo shoot and I absolutely love this one I'm actually using this a lot just in my everyday like wear for myself like I use it you know my one of my favorite necklaces so another store that I absolutely love is dollar store <laughs> dollar store is like oh and whenever I go to Valley Village there's also a dollar store in the same plaza so like I go there right after I go to Valley Village dollar store is great for like again like supplies for your arts and crafts like let's say ooh, my glue gun was only two dollars two dollars for this glue gun and I use it like all the time for everything I literally glue hot glue everything and also they sell the glue sticks which are extremely extremely cheap I think it's like dollar twenty five for sixteen of the glue sticks so dollar store and you know like styrofoam balls and like little crystals I don't know what I'm gonna use this for little pearl stickers they're already like have an adhesive on them there's some other like crystal stickers and I will be using all of these to like make crowns and accessories you can even just take this and stick it to her forehead or something like there's endless possibilities with these guys okay uh, I love to buy headbands from dollar store that I use for my head crowns as well and then of course well, I still have like a dollar store bag but flowers fake flowers you guys don't even know how much how many fake flowers I have but dollar store has tons of them and they're super cheap I wouldn't say that they're very nice like they're kind of crappy but you can definitely use them as like little fillers for like better ones like I would say you know buy a better one and then use the little smaller ones from dollar store to like fill in the spaces and stuff like that uh, but yeah I have lots lots of fake flowers so I also love to shop at the home decor stores because they always have some cute little things uh, that might inspire you and you might want to use in your photo shoots it can be literally anything like 
I was walking in home sense and I saw this and I was like ah. <laughs> I've used it in my enchanted photo shoot and what I love about this is that it is not like a real um, candle it's electric candle so that you can use it whenever it's windy or whatnot you don't have to worry about like the candle right and this was only eight dollars like literally eight dollars come on and I will be using it lots more I know for sure and then another of my recent purchases I know it kind of looks like what is this I don't know I will insert the picture of how it will look when you open it up I just don't want to open it up right now but I got this at Ikea and it's one of those nets for your bed and this was only ten dollars like ten dollars I mean come on and the idea for this is to use it in the forest I'm gonna hang it to a tree and a girl is gonna be just inside as if she's sleeping in the forest maybe I'll bring some pillows and like a mattress and it's gonna be a beautiful fairy tale uh, kind of fairy sleeping in the forest with the net with the bed net so yeah you can find you know little things like that anywhere just always be open to experimenting in new things and I just I love shopping for props myself just brings me such joy and inspiration so I definitely recommend you guys try it out try out my tips and all these places and if you do please let me know in the comments and yeah I hope you guys like this video uh, comment whatever you would like to see next I will have a lot more uh, Photoshop tutorials coming soon for you guys because that's what you all been requesting a lot so yeah, stay tuned and subscribe to not miss any of my next videos and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> alright bye bye